Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to another Beekeeping Basics. Today I'm actually recording this uh, in my back garden as an introduction to a video that I recorded a couple of days ago. Uh, unfortunately the intro for that was way too blurry so I thought I'd just re-record the introduction. And so the video today is uh, a video of me caging a queen from one of our nucleus colonies. We're about to post out some late season queens and I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how we open up a nucleus colony and uh, remove the queen and cage her and get her ready to be sent through the post to another beekeeper. But before we crack on with that, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all of our latest supporters on our Patreon page. Uh, that's Anthony Smith, thank you very much for your generosity. And also Attila, Adrian, Charlie and Sylvia, thank you all for your generous support as well. And uh, I look forward to sharing more information and more videos with you on our Patreon page. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Hit the little button in the bottom of the screen there. And when you see the uh, little alarm bell symbol, if you click on that, you'll get a notification telling you each time we're uploading a new video. So let's crack on with the video. This is recorded, as I said, from a, a couple of days ago, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So before we go in to remove the queen from the nuke, we need to just prepare our travel cage. This is a very simple travel cage. It has a sliding cover, which we can take off completely. And then we've got two sections. At the front section here, we've got a small area where we can place some soft sugar candy and that will provide food for the workers and the queen that we place into the cage but also it provides a barrier that prevents the bees both in the cage but also in the new colony from accessing the queen too quickly and potentially killing her. On the end we've got a small tab, this little yellow tab and that tab can then be broken off by the beekeeper once you're ready to introduce the queen into your colony. Let's put some candy into the block. We just push it in and it's nice and soft. We don't have to fill it till it's overflowing, just sufficiently to allow the bees to have somewhere that they can feed from, but also give them, provide some protection for the queen that's in the cage. And then we're going to pop the little yellow cover back on, slide that into position and then we're ready to go and all we have to do is to just slide the cover back and then we can pop the queen in at this top end. So I'm back on my kneeling pad, still struggling with a bad back and uh, I would advise anyone who does have an occasional problem with a, a back issue to make inspecting as comfortable for yourself as you possibly can. So we're going to first of all do a quick inspection to find the queen. Uh, I know that she's marked in this colony and uh, once we've found the queen I'll then show you how I pop her into the cage. So the bees are nice and calm in this nucleus colony, which is always good to see. And this queen is destined for another local beekeeper here in Norwich. And we've got a nice brood pattern. You can see the bees are really lovely and calm on the comb. So now all we have to do is to try and find her. It's always a a bittersweet time when you're producing queens and you've produced some really excellent queens and uh, then you have to pop them in a cage and post them off to a, a new beekeeper but hopefully that beekeeper will then be able to produce a really good colony and subsequently produce some uh, queens of their own from the queens that we're producing here. So here's our queen, 
she has a yellow dot on her, a nice yellow dot, so that signifies that she's a queen from this year. So now that we've got our queen, let's turn around so that we can show you. We need to just prepare ourselves so we get our cage, move the smoker out of the way so we don't disturb them too much. And the queen's now moved herself over into this corner. So we want to just keep her on this frame. So she's moved up into this corner here. So everything's set really for her to go into the cage. So all we do is slide the cover open to about half to three quarters of a centimetre. We'll just wait for her to move back into a space and you can see that I've got my thumb over the open space of the cage. So now the queen is in a really good position we can pick her up by her wings and that will be the safest way to pick her up and then we can pop her straight into the cage. So we just go down gently but firmly pick her up by the wing and she's there now in the cage. If I slide the cover across We've now got our queen trapped in the cage. So if we were to send the queen or to hand the queen over as she is, it's likely that she would die. So what we need to do now is to put some attendant workers in with her so that they can look after her in the interim period. So we'll just turn the cage over, just brush these workers off. And I'm again going to slide back the cover and to keep the end covered with my thumb and then all we have to do next if I hold it here is we're just going to pick up some worker bees and we're going to put about six or eight worker bees in with her and each time I pick a bee up I'm just going to move my thumb, thumb slightly to one side and then we can slide in the worker so again exactly as we did with the queen we're going to pick them up by their wings and if you pick them up by the wings on top of the thorax they can't then extend their sting and sting you. So let's have a go at picking up some of these bees and it's always easier to pick up the bees that have got their heads in the cells. So let's try this one first. So we've got the bee and you can see that she's just curling her abdomen round so we slide her thumb back and just slide her into the open space and then we've got the queen plus one worker in there and so I'm just going to collect a few more bees and of course you need to make sure that you don't inadvertently allow the queen to escape as you are um, putting the workers inside so you have to be fairly nimble, but it doesn't take too long to be able to do it. So that's about four, three or four. So there's another. I've lost count, so we'll just pop a couple more in. So we'll look for one that's got its head buried in a cell. Here we are, this one. And then there's two there, two with one. So we've then got a nice quantity of bees in the cage with the queen. And so the queen can now be well looked after. So we'll pop her into our pocket. And then we can pop the frame back in. And this colony, of course, now is going to be queenless and as it's late in the season we'll unite these with another colony to produce one strong colony to overwinter. So we've got four good frames of brood and food stores in here so that should see us through with another another nucleus colony and we can feed them up and they'll survive the winter quite nicely. So all that remains is to just close up the
So all that remains is to just close up the nucleus, pop the lid back on, so the roof's on, and we're sorted. So we've got our queen successfully caged, all ready to go to her new home over the weekend. And I'm really looking forward to chatting to the beekeeper that's going to be taking this queen and uh, hearing back as to how she's performed next season. Always remember which pocket you put them in. You don't want to put your bee suit into the wash and then remember that the queen is still in your pocket. I'm going to head off and do some more inspecting. So until next time, thanks for watching.